Well, okay, we're writing and solving systems of equations in three variables, and we got the dreaded word problem. And this is an interesting problem, and it's got some, um, hmm, some, well, the hairiness to it. It's got a degree of difficulty in it. But let's start off by reading what we've got. Miss Garza invested $50,000 in three different accounts. So we've got 50000 in three accounts. She invested three times as much money in an account that paid 8%, three times more than one that paid 10%. And in the third account, she paid, she got paid 12%. And so if she earned a total of $5,160, that's her total earnings, how much did she invest in each account? Hmm. All right, well, let's start off. We know we got three different accounts. And using those three different accounts, she invested $50,000. So I could then say that X plus Y plus Z equals 50,000. All three of those accounts total 50,000. X plus Y plus Z. And let's say that X is the account that earned 8%. And if I convert 8% into a decimal, then I could say that 0.08x, that's 8%, earning 8% on that account, plus, let's see, second account earned 10%, 0.10y, we'll let y be the second account. And in the third account that we're going to label as z, she earned 12%, so 0 0.12 Z, and so how much did she earn? She earned this 5,160, so that equals 5,160. All right, now, we, but we also see that she invested three times as much money in the account that we now have labeled X as she did in that 10% account. So what does that tell us then? That's just, this is the twist on it that we really got to think about. Well, if she, or if, she, if she invested three times as much in the X account as she did in the Y account, then that means that she invested 3Y plus Y plus Z, three times as much in Y, well, that would all equal 50,000, right? And I could combine those like terms, so then I got 4y plus z equals 50,000. This is the difficult part right there. All right, she's put three times as much in the 10% account, which is y. So three times y is how much she put in x, plus y plus z equals 50,000. So my third equation then is 4y plus z equals 50,000. All right, well, at least we got the, our equations written. Let's step over here and see if we can't figure out how to solve these um, systems of equation in three variables. All right, well, I wrote our three equations down, and I wrote the last one that we did first, and the reason why is... I've already eliminated the X by substitution. Remember, I said if we put in three times as much Y, well, X then is equal to three Y, and then we combine those like terms. So I got two equations left. I got X plus Y plus Z equals 50,000. And then we've got our equation that we set up for how much we earned. So 8% times however how much is in the X account and 10% is what we earned in the Y account and 12% is what we earned in the Z account and all three of those together total 5,160. And this equation already has an X eliminated so I want to eliminate an X between those two equations right there and then we're going to solve for Y and Z and see where that takes us. Now in looking at those two equations the easiest way to get rid of this x is to multiply this equation right here times negative 0 0.8. And I really won't have to do a whole lot of math until I get to the end of that equation. 
So let's see, then that would give me, if I multiply this equation by negative 0 0.08, then I've got negative 0.08x minus 0.08y minus 0.08z. And let's see, what is $50,000 multiplied by negative 0 0.8? That's negative 4,000. All right, well, now let's bring this equation down and let's get rid of this. Let's eliminate this x and see where this takes us. So I'm going to bring it. So I got positive 0.08x plus 0.10y, pulling from right here, plus 0.12z equals 5,160. All right, well, my x is going to cancel when we add these two together. And let's see, what's that going to leave me there with? I've got um, 0.02y plus 0.04z equals 5,160 minus 4,000. That's 1,160. All right, so now I've got just a y and a z variable, but now I've got to solve that with this equation right here. Okay, so we've got 4z, 4y, excuse me, plus z equals 50,000. Let me write it right here. Well, I'm going to put this one up here first. So we got 0.02y plus 0.04z, and that equals 1160. All right, so let's see. Probably the easiest way to get rid of this thing, then, is to eliminate the Z, since that's just a 1Z right there. And if I multiply that equation by negative 0 0.04, I should end up with a negative 0.4Z, and I can eliminate the Z. Let's go that route. All right, so 4 times negative 0 0.04, well, that's going to give me negative, and that's y, by the way, negative 0.16y minus 0.04z, and let's see, $50,000 times zero, negative 0 0.4, that's going to give me negative 2,000. All right, well, let's add these together. We're going to eliminate the Z. And let's see, I got 0.2Y. I got 0.02Y minus 0.16Y. Well, that's going to give me negative 0.14Y. My Zs are eliminated. And now I got negative 2,000 plus 1160. And that's going to give me negative 840 dollars and let's see now we're going to divide we're going to isolate the y by dividing by negative 0 0.14 in that case i got two negatives and so y is going to equal six thousand okay not bad now let's see if i use this equation the four y plus z plus z equals 50,000. And I substitute in 6,000 for y, well then I can find z. So I got four times 6,000 plus z equals 50,000. And four times 6,000 is 24,000 plus z equals 50,000. And we're going to subtract 24,000 from both sides. And then we're going to say that Z is equal to 26,000. All right, so I've got two variables now figured out. I've got Y is equal to 6,000 
Z is equal to 27,000. And all right, well, let's go to the next slide and we're going to finish this thing off and prove our work. All right, so in the previous slide, we had said that Y is equal to 6,000 and Z is equal to 26,000. And we got to find X. Well, that's going to be the easiest one to do that in. So let's substitute in. 6,000 for Y, 26,000 for Z, and solve for X. So now I've got X plus 6,000 plus 26,000 equals 50,000. And 6,000 and 26,000 is 32,000. So it's X plus 32,000 equals 50,000. And subtract 32,000 from both sides, and we say that X is equal to 18,000. Now, if you remember, we're supposed to have put in three times as much money, three times as much of this value right here into the X account. And hey, 6,000 times 3,000 does equal 18,000. We're looking pretty good. Now, let's find out if we've done this correctly, and I can do that by substituting in 18,000 for X here, 6,000 for Y here, 26,000 for Z there. And if that all comes up to 5,160, then Shazam, we're there. So let's see, I got 0. Point, I gotta do this in white color. So it'll stand out a little bit. Okay, so I got 0. 0.08 times 18,000 plus 0 0.10 times 6,000, that's my substitution for Y, plus 0 0.12 times 26,000, that's what we said Z was, and our total income was 5,160. All right, let's see, I need my calculator. All right, 18,000 times 0 0.08, well that equals 1,440 plus $6,000 times 10% or 0.1, that's $600 plus, I got 26,000 earning 12%, 26,000 times 0.12. Huh, that equals 3,120, and I sure hope this is going to total 5,160. So let's see, 1440 plus 600 plus, oh, it's 3,120. I don't know where that 6 came from. Uh, I hope that's what it was, yeah. 3120. Oh, Shazam. How about it? 5160 equals 5160. So, Miss Garza, she put in 18,000 into, into an account earning 8%. She put in 6,000 into an account earning 10%. And she splurged a little bit and put 26,000 into an account that earned 12%. She diversified her portfolio a little bit. And in doing so, she earned $5,160 for the year. Now, these problems are worthwhile. A little bit difficult. you got to think. Math is about critical thinking.